Well, well, well. It looks like we got some open water running down here. So I think what we're gonna try to do first is it's it's pretty shallow up along there, so we're gonna go try to throw a jig head, maybe a night crawler, maybe throw a lure out just over there. Um, there's carp in here, there's walleye. So, yeah, let's do it. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. Don't mind the messy trunk. Um, we're gonna try a, just a small hook, hurt, small hurt. Right, throw that out. Uh, good chunk of night crawler. Let's go down there and put the gloves on real quick. Take the rod. True. And it's gonna be tricky landing these fish because there's still ice on the on the edge of the bank, but oh my goodness. Look at this. The water here is just crystal clear. It's so beautiful. I might actually be able to. Walk on the ice here. So, oh yeah, it's still pretty thick along the bank. All right, first cast. Fell through the ice right there. Well, I'm not gonna walk on the ice bank anymore. I'm just gonna cruise along the side of these rocks here. I'm pretty glad I got that on video because uh, that was pretty funny. All right, well, uh, I might have to switch to a jig head because the current's pretty strong here and the weightless night crawler is not wanting to sink to the bottom. But yeah, I'm gonna throw it out a little bit more and hopefully not fall through the ice again. We're gonna throw it in this pool right here. All right, no, no luck on the weightless nightcrawler, so we're gonna switch to the Ugly Stick GX2, and just, just small jig head. Toss a good sized nightcrawler on it and go up above the falls up there and try to fish that small section of open water. It's gonna be a bit tricky. We're gonna try to scale up this log here. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick how clear this water is.
I might try to fish right in that pool right there. I'm gonna try to throw a couple times up here, but I'm gonna set you guys down here. Somewhere. Somewhere where I can set my phone down without falling in. Okay. So you guys right there. Right here in this above upper part of the dam, I have caught two northern last summer. And then actually right up there, I caught a 40 pound flathead last summer as well. So definitely when the ice melts, and uh, when the ice melts and it's a bit warmer out, I'm gonna be doing a lot of flathead catfishing here, uh, channel cat, just catfishing in general. I love fishing this river because it's just, you never know what you're gonna catch. I mean, it's actually not too bad out here today. Let's say it's, uh, upper 30s but we got the sun shining there's practically no cloud cover right now so we're gonna make our way down river just a little bit here it's super shallow right now but there's a there's a bend in the river right there and i think that's what we're gonna try next Okay, well, let's try to cast out a couple times and see what happens. I think one of the hardest parts about fishing when it's cold out, there's a few of them. Don't get me wrong, people are yapping over there. Um, but my line keeps freezing, so I can't cast super far with the lightweight jig I have on. So what I'm gonna do now is Throw out a water plopper or a whopper popper, whopper plopper, whatever you call them. It spins on the top of the water. You can get nothing off the jig head. So, pretty crazy. I just walked across this little section of ice. It was super sketchy. Um, but look what I found. Sitting right here on the ground. It's a message in a bottle. I'll open that at the end of the video, but. Oh yeah, and I also found a little lure. Actually one of my favorite lures ever. Hey guys, so I got the message 
I got the bottle opened up. I read the message and it was super personal about somebody's friend that passed away. Um, so I'm not going to share that. I know it's a bummer, but it's just too personal. Anyway, pretty cool. What we're going to do is um, there's a creek over there where it flows in the river. We're going to walk through the woods and hop on that creek and make our way up the creek. Let's do it. Well, we got a small problem. Not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. But I walked up from the river into this, into this creek where in the summertime it's full of rock bass and smallmouth bass, especially right in this spot. It's a good, six to six i'd say six to seven maybe eight foot deep in this in this hole right here but i was hoping i had i was hoping that this would be thawed out and we could fish this spot but you know give it a month it'll be all thawed out we'll be able to fish it what's up guys it's a brand new day. Today is a beautiful day. Um, yesterday was kind of a, you know, we we went on a long walk. We seen some cool stuff. We found a message in a bottle. Um, but today, I'm gonna head down to the Missouri River here. Not for very long. Just trying to just trying to get a good video here. I don't want to post the video without catching a single fish like i said we found some cool stuff but we're trying to catch fish for those of you who don't know the river the missouri river and actually a lot of other rivers are super low right now because last year and the year before it's just been super, super dry. So I'm gonna show you guys the spot here. This right here is the spot. You see all that sand? Last summer that was underwater. So the Missouri River right now, not exactly sure the specific numbers but from last year i guess it's probably around eight foot eight to ten foot lower than it normally is so I didn't bring any fancy rods or any fancy gear with me today, but I do have some night crawlers and I do have a couple lures and uh, I got a jig head. On this bigger rod, we're just gonna throw a jig head. I'll show you guys here. Jig head, it's a uh, one quarter ounce, quarter ounce jig head. Nothing too crazy. So, if you're wondering what I, what kind of knot I use, I just do the typical fisherman's knot. It's 
easy it always works for me people will tell you this and that but I've got some decent sized fish this knot works just like that easy peasy Typically I cut this uh, extra line off. You probably should, but I'm not really worried about it right now. All right, y'all, cast her out. got that rod cast out in the meantime I'm gonna be throwing this shad rock there's a lot of shad that run this river so pretty self-explanatory I'm gonna throw this out for a bit and see what happens Well, it's been about 20 minutes. I've been just throwing out this uh, shad wrap. Let's go check on the night crawler. Well, the night crawler rod looks just how it was right after we threw it out. So we're gonna leave that in the water and we're gonna work our way around, cast out with the shad wrap. We're gonna throw it towards these rocks and in this deep pool right here, let's do it. I was walking over to start throwing into these rocks here. I just heard and seen a massive fish surface the water. It, pretty sure it jumped up and just splashed, but that's a good sign at least. Uh, there is fish still in here. Okie dokie, y'all. I think this is gonna be the last spot of this video. We're still getting bites. We're gonna give it another 20 minutes or so. And we got one in the bag here. I'll show you guys that one. I just got it a little, uh, it's still alive, but got a little grocery bag there. Yep. There's another one, y'all. There's a smaller one. Oh, buddy. They're feisty. All right, guys, here we are. This is the rainbow trout that we caught today. Um, I'm going to prepare this fish and cook it up. All right, guys. There's uh, a few different ways to fillet a rainbow trout but this is the way I like to do it Just get the guts all out rinse it out cut the head off cut the tail off cut the top fin off 
What I'm gonna do is throw some of this Kinder's rub on it. Throw some of that in there. I'm gonna do some garlic salt and a half a stick of butter. Then I'm gonna bake it. All right, guys. I think she's all good to go. Oh yeah. That's looking good. Yep. Hey guys, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that it means a lot to me that you guys watch my videos. And um, I hope you guys stick around and I'll catch you on the next episode.